uh, you've got uh, two tables, the minimum and the maximum. What they did is they said, okay, uh, we know that all the wind is not going to be uh, built as, you know, the, the maximum. So we're going to reduce that uh, by, or to 81% and say that's the maximum that will be built there. Uh, saying, you know, some land we're not, we're not going to be able to use. And then the minimum uh, would be, uh, uh, they reduced it by a third. So that's 66% of what the maximum would be. Um, but uh, this ends up being uh, this uh, 17,000 uh, uh, gigawatt hours there, excuse me, is about 59% of what we would need. So uh, looking at that, saying, okay, this is just a uh, four small areas of the state, um, we've got 59% of the uh, generation, uh, we would easily be able to get the, uh, the full 30 gigawatts, uh, 30,000 uh, gigawatt hours that we would need. Then, uh, if you look at how much it would cost, well, uh, well going back, uh, uh, there's uh, 6,100 megawatts. So that, that's uh, how much, uh, uh, how many, uh, uh, how big of a generation you're going to need. And uh, uh, I, I found a uh, relatively recent uh, cost per megawatt uh, for, for uh, wind generation of uh, uh, 1.8 uh, uh, $75 million per megawatt. And uh, it comes out to a, uh, a cost of uh, eleven and a half billion dollars, and then just do a, a straight scaling to uh, thirty gigawatt hours, uh, and you come up with uh, an approximation that we would need about seven thousand turbines uh, in Michigan, about uh, little, uh, ten and a half uh, thousand megawatts uh, would be the total, and it would be just under twenty billion dollars uh, to get there. Uh, we'd also would need to, to have some uh, extra transmission uh, because uh, those wind areas generally uh, do not have, uh, you know, there's not a lot of people there, there's not a lot of industry, there's not a lot of uh, transmission. So uh, uh, the Public Service Commission, uh, you know, once they identified these four zones, told uh, the International Transmission Company, uh, which um, as most of the uh, transmission in the state uh, or in the lower peninsula, go look at this, uh, come up with prices. And uh, this set of uh, 300, uh, 345 kilovolt lines uh, double circuited through the, the uh, thumb would cost uh, $740 million. Uh, let's see, there we go. Uh, then there's a, uh, a bigger, uh, transmission uh, grid, 765 kilovolts, uh, very high, high voltage, uh, connecting, uh, you know, southeast uh, Michigan, or southwest Michigan over here, uh, over towards uh, uh, Detroit Edison's territory and down, and uh, this is to relieve, uh, you know, some pretty big uh, bottlenecks that we have in our transmission system right now. Uh, this will, would allow about 5,000 megawatts to flow from east to west because uh, right now the uh, transmission is relatively um, loaded and then also allow about the same north-south. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, you know, the, this was uh, something that, that uh, uh, most uh, engineers who've looked at this would say that uh, is needed and that has a much bigger uh, uh, price of uh, two, a little over two and a half billion dollars.